Kim speaking on the E, I'm talking about us as a culture having certified real gangsters because that's what y'all want to goddamn glorify. You want to glorify this. We have a certified real gangster who stood on gangster principles, got shot in the face live to tell about it still can be lyrical out here ain't trying to be no young dressed like a young for the new hoes being og giving og game connecting with the murder game pbs by re reintroducing the world yeah. hey i'm a dicky boy Boys in my dna gotta gotta swear they can't why are we not showing that man the credit that he deserves Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I, I just want to tell you, 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 on during that interview, you was ridiculously loud, and yeah, you was sure. really, you, you was charging everybody up about different things. You was stopping, you was controlling the room when it came down to certain things about yeah. Dallas. The the top of the Dallas artist market. Why are you guys allowing so many people to help you get to greatness, and then you don't even look back? You could tell you very passionate about it's it, just, and then you don't even look back. Did he get a say, plaque? You give him a plaque? Uh, he That's Hell no, I ain't got no motherfucking plaque on my wall. Oh, shout out to Terry I, Blue. I, I, Terry I tried loud. to Terry tried to say something. You're not originally from Dallas. <laughs> you're not from Dallas. You know, yeah, he know he from New, New Orleans. But the way you were hailing everything, it's just who you are. But you was, was a little a loud. Thing? No, I think people, I need, to, people need to see I ain't this lie. nigga that element because he could, he Dallas. He he, he holding that. Hard on. as he can. I'm, I'm gonna I'm, keep. I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. I, I've been wanting to do a podcast <laughs> for so long, right? Because I started with podcast. Scrap I remember that. Radio. I told. I messaged you about uh, that. All goddamn the time. me. Uh, goddamn RIP deal. Goddamn glam. Glam still. She still doing her, her thing. And Frank, my boy, just came home. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying. After we did that, and then it, it, it catapulted me to get on the actual. A radio, radio station that I want to be on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, damn. I was like, man, I can leave it alone. But now I'm, I'm like, nah. Because after that feedback from that interview, dog, like people was like, damn, hit that you. But like, because people don't see me, they only see me DJ and they don't see my persona. Yeah. But the catch is like, I be, th I be telling people like, do y'all understand? Like my persona is what then carried me when that song died out. My yeah. persona was kept. You know what I'm saying? That the motion going with Johnny Down D dropping a new. Hit, hitting record. Shout out to saying? Johnny Damn D. We had him on the show about a year or so ago, and Man. I did not see him at that time. He was just hey, that's he crazy. hadn't came back yet. Hey, he was just, but he was working. He hey, was, hey, hey, you see how you said you didn't see it? I didn't see it. I already knew what was going on. Really? Well, you supposed to? You over there with these niggas, ain't you? I, and to catch it, 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 it wasn't even that. It's just I got to keep my earth. I know. All right, so I'm gonna give you an example. Everybody screaming. Who the hottest out of Dallas right now coming up? Four bats. No, 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 not, not four bats. You no, know I'm saying that's global. In Dallas, who's the gigs? No, but he's already he already signed. Who's the new niggas that ain't signed? Zillionaire Doe and, and and Montana Seven Hundred. And who else? Just give me like four or five of them. Kev got bands. Okay, another one they mention all the time. Who else? Who else? Give me who, who you thinking? Did, am I missing somebody? Everybody you just named, right? Yeah. That's who I brought to my birthday party last June. So you already knew. I already knew what was going on. I was ahead of the curve. I've been knowing it. And the, the boy, like I say, I've been playing them for a year. I already knew it's going to take a year for you, for the world <coughs> to catch up. Mm. Now some new niggas that's coming out. Yeah. And you got OGs coming out. You got Twisted Black. You know what I'm saying? You got Twisted Black that dropped the record. Man, Twisted Black. And, and, and think about Killer Mike. I always talk about it. Come Killer on. Mike showed you that hey, listen, you can bro. get a Grammy hey, and rap at 40 some, hey, listen. 50 some years hey, old. Hey, listen, man. bro. Twisted Black, I'm a Dallas nigga. He's from Fort Worth. For sure. DF Dub Connected. He's one of those guys that we're going to have to just sit back and, and appreciate the real of him. His storytelling ability, his ability to be a lyricist, and the catch is, I don't think the DF Dub culture is showing him enough love by being a real nigga, going to jail, not snitching, standing on his morals, coming home, and still moving in the ability of a big homie and be a presence like he is. Oh, he, he We're not showing him the, the 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 amount of effort that he needs. Like, I hope you put this clip out. No, no, no. So, he's, he's, so he's the coach like, can understand. He spoke on it in here. So I know it, it, it's a thing where. You know, mm, mm. And I feel like it makes you question because I did everything right. I'm not a rat, not a homosexual. 
I'm not a coward. Mm. So if I did everything right in the streets, you know, you, it's supposed to be a such thing as a full benefits package. Mm. That's right. That we get. For the know. family. That's what you would think. Mm-hmm. That's an illusion. In some some cases, just in, 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 in your case, you're case, speaking about speak your case, right? Him speaking on the E. I'm talking about us as a culture having certified real gangsters because that's what y'all want to goddamn glorify. You want to glorify this? We have a certified real gangster who stood on gangster principles, got shot in the fucking face, lived to tell about it, still can be lyrical out here. Ain't trying to be no young dressed like a young. For the new hoes being OG, giving OG game, connecting with the murder game PBs by re reintroducing the world. Yeah. Hey, I'm a dick and boy. Whores in my DNA. Swear to God, I swear they can't Why are we not showing that man the credit that he deserves? I think he just got to keep working. I tell him that all the time. As he continue to work, he can't. He won't be denied. Different from most people, I have to show people. I don't really know people like. It but it, it, that work, once that work keep coming, if you keep putting that music out, Facts. you gon' feel him. DZ put this hustler go broke around my neck. That's why I hope my H is high, cause we some hustlers here in Texas. Like but the main thing is he has to stay consistent, Straight period. Up. And as he do that, cause he can rap, ain't nobody, and he telling his story. That's 17 so long, now I'm coming back so That's strong. strong. I feel on they throat, bitch, I'm the goat. Live there in my Yo. And I think that that's what gotta, sets him apart. He got an undeniable story. Down. And he gonna keep rapping. And I know within a year story, from now, bro. like you seen that whole thing with a year for them, because he was gone 17 years, he gonna have to keep rapping, bro. And it's it's a lot of new niggas that, that, that we ain't speaking on. Like, I ain't gonna lie, we ain't, we ain't. I learned not to shout out so many niggas because they're, 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 getting, they, they're getting their head too quick. But it's a lot of niggas that... Shit, what a camera. Y'all know who y'all are. I'm paying attention. I'm watching. I understand. I just want to see if y'all going to stay consistent where people can actually goddamn understand what. What do you think about Gunna Measy? We didn't say nothing about him. He just brought Jim I'm, Jones down here. I'm, I'm proud of Gunna Measy. Told him nigga. Had to show them nigga. I got soldiers with me. Show them nigga. Pull up four and whip it. Do the. Uh, we, well, me and Gunna Measy had to sit down and it was heated. I, 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 I love it. It was, it was heated. Like, like the, the owner of the little establishment was like, is everything okay? And I was like, hey, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Gunner, don't nobody owe you shit. You got to work. Wow. You got to work. That's the bottom line. Don't nobody give a fuck how good you can rap. You got to get on, you got to get over the, 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 the stigma of people going to categorize you in, in a Mo3 context because the way you rap. Situation didn't make it, got killed when he turned 16. Murder for murder, load up the burner, catch him and dirt him, and every nigga with us gonna retaliate. And you, you're not gonna like that, but at the end of the day, you really can rap. Like, like that nigga can really rap. I'm gonna be defending, I'm supposed to be with this weapon, I got it loaded in the booth right now, fine. Okay, my shoes stay ready, hold it, my little nigga dead, he can't just sleep, he'll stretch a nigga outside. Like, he one of those ones, and he got a good song. And he putting on for his little section, East Dallas. I was hurt at him for doing that because... I feel like he should have made it a more of a Dallas anthem and then made an East Dallas remix. But I understand the coach and what he represents. That's like me repping for the Grove. I'm always rep my, my I'm repping Dallas, but shit, I'm a 6'5", baby. Grove side, that's in me. You know what I'm saying? Unpleasant Grove. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, the new I'm, move. I'm being over here. I hear this thing going on. I see... Uh, Show hitting now for real. It's going everywhere. Nah, for real. Nah, for real. I'm getting money. I'm getting money. That's a fact, though. That's a fact, though. Search new Big show. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Everybody talking about it. Everybody posting it. All of these different people getting on these clips. Nah, for real. 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 What? You see people coming into town, rocking with him. Yep. Uh, what do you think his deal Big is, show. and will that will he be able to continue that with that Big type show. of success? See the scary thing about with Show, his song got so big he went straight to the radio first. Wow! And that doing everything right. That nigga politicking, he networking, he doing all the work, he making good music. I think the world not going to appreciate Show until he dropped this album. And 
I didn't heard a few of the songs. He got a song on there with Twisted Black that I feel like, bro, it's undeniable. It's, it's so, it's so ball status. But when the album dropped, the world gonna know. Because I think, I think it's about, I think it's, I think he got, lyrically, he one of those ones. Like, lyrically, he one of those ones. So wow. Sweet. Yeah. Um, well, the thing is, I can just really be real with you and say, I listen to your ear. When you talking, I listen to you. You my you my homie. Like you mm-hmm. always come here as a kid. You've been coming here. So when I'm tapping into the city, I'm tapping in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm Texas. You always you see the medallion. It's small, but it's there. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. always there. There ain't no big jury type, but you are gonna see that Texas right there. Yeah, me, me, me. yeah, yeah. yeah me I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hear Nova Scotia. It's, going, it's tatted on my chest. Even when I get in the hard spaces. Yes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm I'm a, I'm a straight Texas nigga, <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.